The first position we'll get into is a lizard pose. From the front lean and rest position, bring your left foot up outside of your left arm. Keep the back knee grounded, and if you have the mobility, go ahead and reach your elbows towards the ground. We'll stay in this position for about 40 seconds. about 10 more seconds. From here, we will just switch sides. Bring your right foot outside of your right hand. Keep that back knee grounded and reach your elbows to the ground if you have the mobility. If not, your hands are fine. Our next position will be a pigeon position. Going back to your left side, bring, sweep that knee underneath of you and lean forward, dropping your chest towards your knee. Your shin angle can be anywhere you are comfortable. We'll hold this position for about 30 seconds. Go ahead and switch sides. Drop your chest towards your knee. Hold this position for the next 30 seconds. Our next position, we'll get into a 90-90 pose. With your right leg up in a 90 degree angle and your left leg behind you, you will windshield wiper and lead with your left, open up nice and wide, drop to the other side. From here, we will extend our hips to the top and sit back down. Reach with your right, open up wide, knees hit the ground and hips are extending. We will go through about three on each side.
Next, we'll be moving into a down dog position. From the front lean and rest position, send your hips all the way up, dropping your chest and pressing firmly against the ground. Reach those heels towards the ground. You can pedal if you'd like. We're gonna hold this position for another 10, 15 seconds. From here, you will drop all the way into seal pose. With your knees and hips on the ground, press your chest up in a good spinal extension. Keep good, calm breath here. We'll hold this position for another 20 seconds and repeat the sequence into down dog, into seal pose one more time. Our last pose for the day is gonna be a twisted lizard. So coming back up into that pseudo lunge position, similar to how we were before, whatever leg is up, reach behind with that arm and grab that rear foot. If this is too intense for you, you can stand upright. Think of this as a couch stretch or a standing quad stretch. You can make this more intense by putting your elbow on the ground and really reaching forward. But the target area here is those hip flexors and that quad group. Stay here for about 10 more seconds. Now drop the leg down slowly and switch sides. With that Right leg coming up, if you're following along with me, take your right hand and reach behind you to your left foot. And continue that quad stretch. Hold here for about 40 seconds. All right, go ahead and gently drop your left leg to the ground. That's it for the day. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.